Hey guys, what's up? It's JDogs here, and we are back for another episode of Spiritcraft here on the Vanilla Spiritcraft server. And uh, a couple things I'm getting to working on. Last time you guys saw, uh, I had some issues with the villagers and getting them to breed. I finally figured out you have to put, uh, you have to give them some food and potatoes worked fine for me because I had a ton of them already. And so I got up a bunch of my potatoes and just gave them some. And we got a third villager easily that way. Uh, you can see I've got some stuff in my inventory here, and I'm going to go over what I'm doing here in a minute. But I'm getting ready to set up my villager breeder, and because I want you know a couple villagers for around here to trade with, and then ultimately this won't be staying here. Um, so I'm going to grab some glass. Oh, that's not glass. That's glowstone. That's glass. Okay. So let's get some glass. I'm not sure how much we'll need, but we'll get about two stacks for now. Put that back to normal. Okay, so first uh, I trapped the little baby villager when he escaped. I trapped him over there, and he's another blacksmith uh, with a coal trade, but not as good as the one that we have already. So we're going to be working on this guy. Um, you can see I've dug out an area here. Two, or no, three blocks deep. Uh, and the reason is, is because, one, I'm going to need to cover the top, and we're going to cover the top with glass. Uh, what this is going to be is a infinite villager breeder. Um, and basically, I need to make it set up to where these guys will harvest and replant crops that grow. So I need this to be a large area down here where they're going to be harvesting crops, um, but first we need to get them down here. I put in a little small entrance area uh, so I don't have to worry about getting in and out. And we just basically need two here, which is going to be these two guys. So we're going to go ahead and let them in. I had them trapped there. And bust these blocks. And boom, they're in. So that was an easy way to get them in here. Uh, that's just from where they were trapped last time. I shortened them down, pushed them together, put some fencing in and uh, then just broke out all the blocks below them. So you can see here they're nice and, and comfy in their little new spot here. I think I'm going to dye the glass green just to make it match the rest. And I know like this isn't the best spot to have them as far as making it look nice here, but this is going to give me incentive that this is not going to be permanent. Uh, I was going to make it permanent eventually and, and I was going to put a, a green house and all kinds of stuff. But I don't want this to be permanent. I don't want the villager to be, uh, breeder to be permanent. Eventually, I'm going to take it out. So we're just going to build a basic breeder here. Uh, I'm going to go back and I'm going to grab this stone hoe, which may or may not last as long as we need it to. Do I have? I don't have any others. Okay, so um, let's see. We need a water source. I have one already. We need... Um, a lily pad. Let's get a lily pad. Do, 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 do. Boink. Okay. And we can... Oh, and we need... We need the main thing. We need our potatoes. Okay. So 64 should be good enough, I think. So we're going to go ahead and... We've got a basic 9x9 nine nine area here. And in the very center, we're going to pop out the middle one. So it's 4 from that wall and 4 from this wall be right there. Alright, so we want to take and put our water down there, and then put our lily pad on top of it. Oh, that's not a lily pad. Alright, and then we can uh, hoe all of this out. Now this does not look right. One, two, three, four. I think we went one too many on one of the directions. We got four there, four there, and four here. Yeah, okay, so we need to fill one of them back in, which we can do rather quickly. There we go. And then just kind of aim here. I thought it was off, kind of. It felt weird. Alright, that one can stay just like that. Oh, there you go. Thank you. He knew I wanted to put some stuff there. Alright, so now we're good. And that'll turn back like, like to normal here in a minute. Alright. I think this is going to break pretty quickly here. Probably. Um, 
but this is going to basically be an area where that yeah it just broke where they get recognized and have to do their breeding and I'll show you guys here in a minute how we're going to separate them and that's going to be a little bit different let's get uh, here let's just make an iron one since we have the iron doot, doot. and how to make a hoe 101 that didn't sound right okay anyways uh, boop. all right let's go over here and get down here oh you can see he's already planting because I gave these guys potatoes to start with and you can see he's already planting potatoes that's actually pretty cool um, so he'll go through and automatically plant this for me which is pretty cool I did not think that they would do that that's a surprise to me so let's go ahead and give him some more and you can just give them potatoes you can just drop them on the floor they'll pick them up and then we'll give him some to keep planting and he picked those up and that's an easy way that's what I did to start with is I just tossed them some potatoes uh, basically they have to have some kind of uh, it makes them willing to breed uh, they won't just be willing you know anytime or whatever and so that was my little way of uh, getting them to go ahead and get a third villager for us that way I didn't have to worry about um, trying to go and, and, and cure another zombie villager so we're going to take this down since we are done with it oh and that was my fault and occasionally I think they will also themselves uh, trample crops so that's the only downside sometimes is you have to get them uh, do maintenance on this which is the other reason for me having this little gate right here um, eventually we if we decide to keep this I would definitely be moving it uh, which is why I'm not making something real big and fancy I'm just doing something basic and we'll be uh, using it for breeding purposes so over this way I think yeah I think we'll do over here um, I'm trying to remember how close this is supposed to be I think it's we can go right here I'm pretty sure so we're gonna go down seven blocks below way where they are currently at so first we have to get down to the level they are on which is three blocks down which is where we're at now now we have to go an extra seven blocks so that's gonna be three well we got a spot dug out down here already it looks like that we'll have to work with so that'll be four right there so let's go over here four and then three more past this block is where we need to make a small platform so yeah this is gonna be out in the middle of nowhere it'll be kinda awkward but it's alright got some spare blocks here let's put some of this up so one two three is where the floor will be I think no that's where the floor would be I think because that'll be seven blocks that's four five six seven yeah okay so we're gonna need to make a little path or, or a platform here again like I said this is a little awkward just because of how this is set up but it'll be alright um, let's go ahead and do that and then we want our area to be three wide so where's our block right there so that was four five six seven just to count it one more time let's take this over this way over that way and that's two blocks so we need one more third block and then we can just kind of fill this in All right, and oh wait a minute wait a minute I might have gotten wrong here which way points to where they're at I think yeah I think they're that way so actually our platform has to go this way I'm gonna go up and double check here in a moment but we're just gonna go ahead and do both sides just to be safe and then I'll go check all right let's get out of here I know there's a little path to get out right over here that I left 
Yeah, right up in here. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they were pointing that direction. So let's put a torch so we know what side to put it on. And then we'll just fill this back in to get back down. Alright. So this is probably going to be a two-part episode since I'm just kind of doing it all on camera and not really doing any of it, um, you know, off camera. So, All right, so that's the way it needs to go. Three blocks from here, so we are going to have to fill in a little more. Uh, I guess we can use dirt since we ran out of stone. Yeah, okay. So this way... And I think it has to have a top on it. I'm not sure, but we're going to put one anyways. Just because we can. Alright, fill that in. And give it a top. Alright, so, now that we've got this, really I could fill this in over here. Just so that we're not worried about it and we're even with everything. Uh, we may not have quite enough blo ugh, blocks. Still losing the voice every now and then. Um, there we go. So this one actually has to be visible to sunlight. So we're just going to do that. And so whenever we get ready to do our breeding, we'll be good to go. All right. So we're going to take six doors. One, two, three. Oh, three, four, five. Why did that? Oh, the torch there and we'll put our torch here I guess and one more door right there alright and just to be safe I think we'll put a door that or a torch there alright so now we have to have a way to get our villager down here which again I think is going to be pretty easy only because of where this is um, and I, I did not actually have this pre-planned out of it I was actually going to have to maybe minecart him down here or something but because of where this is we could actually just drop him down and then kinda just push him along to get him over here which is what I think I'll do um, but I may cut and do that I don't know let's see here let's see how hard this would be um, I know he is let's just go straight up from here oh can't okay can we, yeah we can go straight up from there Okay, let's get our blocks, fill that in again, and just pillar up. Alright, so he's there. Now, I hear a zombie. This is what I've been worried about. Can that zombie get in anywhere? Okay, there's one over there in the water I saw. No, it does not look like they're getting in. Uh, you'll see I added some fencing to all of these places. This is so that uh, when I put each villager in, it won't mess with the the breeder for having a uh, door at each area or not having anything there. So it'll serve two purposes. One, to keep them in. Oh, how did he just get up there? Alright, how did that even happen? I bet you he fell off from up there. I bet you he did. Alright, that may be a small problem eventually. Let's go sleep just so that we can get rid of the zombies. And we will go ahead and get this taken care of. Now, like I said, once we get the glass put down, that'll keep those guys safe. So they won't have any problems to worry about. And of course, the guy way down below won't have any problems to worry about. So eventually, they'll all be safe anyways underground as far as the breeder goes. Um, and I won't have to worry about them dying. Right now they're kind of out in the open, so they could have zombies drop on them uh, if they were able to be, you know, able to find their way in. Let's put some glass down here. Now, like I said, eventually I might change this to be green. Just to kind of match with the ground. I don't know. I think if I make it look too good, I'll have incentive to want to keep it here. <laughs> So I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm just going to go ahead and put down this regular glass. 
and we'll do it all along through here. And I won't do that on screen. I'll go ahead and, and uh, just show you kind of what I'm doing. But I'm going to fill this in all the way. The torches will stay there. Uh, I was going to use glowstone originally, but I think I am not going to. And you're probably wondering, well, we can get them to breed, but how, we are, how are we going to separate them? And that is going to be the part that probably will, yeah, it will be on the next episode on how I decide to separate them. And, because at this point, if we put the villager down there, which is why I'm not putting it down there just yet, that'll be our last step. But if I put the villager down there and he starts interacting with the doors and they start breeding, these guys up here will be the ones that breed. And if they breed, then the problem will be is all the villagers will be, all the baby villagers will be in here. Well, our solution to that is actually going to be to still let them stay in here, but they will get filtered out uh, in one of these corners here. And that will probably be for the next episode for me to show you guys. So stay tuned for that, and on, on our next Spiritcraft episode, we will I'll have this covered up, we'll get that done, I'll uh, get that guy ready to be moved down, but I won't move him down yet. And I will show you guys how we're going to pipe these guys out and uh, be able to choose which one we want, which one we don't want. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to hit the like button. Leave any comments, suggestions, criticism you have for this or anything else down below. Let me know, should I keep the breeder and just maybe move it to a better spot? Do you think this will be okay ultimately uh, to leave here? Or should I just, you know, do what I'm doing and, and, you know, get them for now and then later on take it down and not have the breeder, you know, forever? So anyways, um, you guys let me know. And of course... Uh, if you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe. I put out new videos every day of the week. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy. Peace out.